let's just keep it a buck. Starting out, your pay will be shit. <laughs> Nurse Babe gang, it is your Nurse Babe Carly Ray coming at you guys with another Confessions of an Ex-Nurse vlog. So today is December the 2nd. It is 9 o'clock in the morning, child. And if y'all see me in the car, normally I'm out somewhere doing something for my family or something, child. And let me see if I can scoot this back. No, that ain't gonna work. I had to take my aunt to... Um, her doctor's appointment at 9 o'clock this morning. So I'm just sitting in the car and I figured that I would come on and talk to y'all. And just really let y'all know, hey, how's it going? How was y'all break for Thanksgiving? How was y'all Thanksgiving? As y'all seen, my Thanksgiving was lit, honey. It's always a good time whenever I'm around my family. I will say that. Like I said, it is December 2nd. I will not be participating in vlogmas. Y'all already know I'm just doing good just to put content out um, every week. <laughs> so I could not imagine myself putting content out for um, every day. And I know I could have vlogged like way sooner. Like a lot of the um, vloggers are doing now. They're pre-recording a lot of their vlogmas stuff. But it's not really during December. It's just pre-recorded stuff. I could have done that. But I didn't want to do that. And I didn't want to put myself up under that type of pressure. Because I already have a lot going on. If y'all don't know. So let me give y'all like a little, a little detail description of what all I do. Um, so if it's the week that my husband has his kids, which will have the oldest boy and the youngest boy, um, on those weeks, those are my craziest weeks. So I have to wake up and get Chandler and him to school. Chandler has to be to school by 7.30 in the morning. Avery has to be to school by 8. That's the oldest. Um, and then I'll come back. I'll relax. Get the house situated. Because when all of, all of the kids, except for the little girl, when all of the boys and, you know, everybody's home, I have so much laundry to do. So I just kind of get caught up on, like, house stuff and just get the rooms cleaned and, you know, clean, fold clothes, put clothes up, put stuff on hangers. Like, I like to put, like, their school uniforms and stuff like that because Chandler and Jace is in uniform. Jace is Cordell's youngest, if y'all don't know. I put all their stuff on hangers and I just hang it up in their closet. So that way, in the morning time, we can just pick, a, uh, you know, pick their little hanger up with their uniform on it and just iron it and they can just we can just go i don't have to search for anything so i get all that stuff ready clean the kitchen and stuff like that so normally i try to like utilize the rest of that time to find vlog music or i try to um catch up on some of my youtube videos or i try to edit or you know things like that or upload content like i try to be productive for that day and then by that time it's normally around like close to the time that I need to go and pick up Chandler. So Chandler gets out at 310. So I get in line to pick him up. Then I got to go to Jefferson to pick Avery up. And then if Cordell is free, then he'll go get Jace that goes to school in Shreveport. But if he's not free, then I got to go from Jefferson all the way to Shreveport, which is like an hour, 30 minute drive and pick up that kid and then sometimes they have practice because i got them um chandler's little league basketball hasn't started yet but avery is in uh basketball for eighth grade at jefferson so um some days he'll have practice and i'll have to pick him up at like 5 30 like pretty much what i'm saying is <laughs> is that everything is like up in the air so like last week well no last wednesday let me tell y'all how my day went woke up took chandler and avery to school right and then after that um i'm in line to pick up chandler and i'm thinking that avery has practice well he hits me up and he's like well no i don't have practice and so i was like well when was you gonna tell me child one thing about these kids they're gonna be like they're gonna be last minute about any and everything okay so i hurry up pick chandler up out of his pickup line and then this little girl is so cute y'all she's so cute but um but so 
I scramble, pick Chandler up from school, then I hurry up and go pick Avery up from school. Then I touch base with Cordell to see if he was gonna be able to pick up Jace. He wasn't gonna be able to, so I had to rush from Jefferson to go pick up uh, Jace, which we made it there like in just enough time. Like the, the after school program was closing at, like in five more minutes they were closing. So um, that's how much time I had to spare. So I picked him up, then we had to rush back to the house because Avery had um, his training sessions with his trainer for basketball. Um, so we got to the house, let him change, put his clothes on, Harry back up, took him to Longview to go train with his coach, um, Miss Drakes. And after that, practice was over at like 8.30, got the kids something to eat, got home, did homework with both kids, got their lunches packed, got their clothes put out, got them to bed and then finally literally at 12 o'clock i was finally getting back in the bed y'all but that day i had been up since 6 30. yeah i had been up since 6 30 and i just was being able to you know lay back down at midnight that night like another part of the reason for me being a stay-at-home mom now is because the kids want these opportunities to be able to go to like one-on-one -on -one training sessions or to go to like, um, you know, training sessions and stuff like that, or even just be in basketball sports. Because I realized whenever I was a nurse, I didn't get that opportunity to really just make it to channel practices and things like that. And sometimes I didn't p even put him in sports at all because I didn't have the time and I didn't have anybody that was for sure going to be able to take Chandler to practices and stuff like that back and forth. Uh, that's one thing I will say that I'm happy about is that I will be able to really just, you know, be there for Chandler, let him experience playing sports. So I, I don't know if I told y'all, but this is his first year playing like little league basketball. Um, but it doesn't start till January, but I already got him in training sessions with the same coach as Avery. Um, and she's just working with him on ball handling skills and how to dribble and, you know, how to shoot and stuff like that. If you guys are in the East Texas area and is looking for someone to help your kid with ball handling, shooting, dribbling, she's super great. Um, the sessions are only $25 a session. So I'll have her information listed down below. Um, but yeah, so y'all, it just started raining out of nowhere. I don't even know if y'all can hear that rain, but yeah, it just started raining literally out of nowhere. Man, I'm so tired, but I will say that I'm so happy that a lot of people are doing vlogmas because it's content that I get to watch. Like anything, like if anything that I decide to do, maybe I'll decide to do something like twice a week or something like that. Maybe. I don't know for sure. Y'all, I'm up here getting ready to leave because I need to go pick up my Starbucks coffee. And Starbucks is like right up the street from my aunt's doctor. So I'ma just go pick up this Starbucks. As y'all seen in my last vlog, I got a facial done for the first time and I really truly feel like it is helping clear up my skin. Of course, you know, the dark marks are still there. And then um, not to mention your girl is coming back up on her girl time of the month, child. Why did Eve have to eat that apple, honey? Because Lord. Um, but yeah, so I'm coming back around for that and baby, I, I did myself in the dough with this one. I, I really did. I really messed up knowing dang well I should have never done that. So let me tell y'all what I did to myself. And I always do this to myself. It doesn't matter the medication at all. I will always forget. Sorry, y'all. This camera. Child, tell me why I didn't stop taking the flow vitamins that, you know, I... I if y'all watch any of my other vlogs, y'all already know what I'm talking about, but I stopped taking those flow vitamins and that those flow vitamins really helped me with my uh, menstrual cycle and I stopped taking my ashwagandha. Like girl, I don't know what it is about me and medicine, baby, but I will never stay on track with taking medicine. Like, I don't know, like I, I cannot grasp that concept of me taking medicine every day. So I'll just mess around and not take my medicine for a few days and then realize like, oh my God, like why is my head hurting? Like last night, I had a 
huge headache like a massive headache but I always get these around my cycle time but I'm wondering like why is this headache so bad I ain't really had a bad headache in you know maybe like a month or so and so it's because girl you dumb you stop taking your medicine and then now you're wondering why you getting a headache like be be for real like be fucking for real so needless to say I had to get back on child baby this thing gonna wash me out that's one thing this camera is gonna do is wash me out but yeah so needless to say i had to get back on my ashwagandha pills and i had to get back on um well actually my ashwagandha gummies i had to get back on those and then i had to get back on my flow vitamin pills as well because they really help me out like i'm not even gonna hold y'all they really be helping me out so i'm gonna try to link those down below to the flow vitamins and the ashwagandha like i'm just linking this stuff just to help y'all like baby i don't get no commission no no nothing i'm just linking it just to help y'all and don't mind my hair honey because sister is getting a new wig coming up soon and then that's another thing child I ain't had to buy no wigs in God knows how long. And this is really like my first time ever having to buy, like, I, well, I wouldn't say my first time ever, my first time in a long time, like years, where I have had to buy a wig. So I bought a wig from AF Sister Wig because I really truly fuck with AF Sister Wigs. Like they have some really good wigs. Um, so I bought a wig from them. Um, it's already shipped out. I did two to four day shipping, so it should be here soon. So I will do my hair. Um, I'll do my hair then. But yeah, so that's how you know I really just like fuck with this hair company. It's because baby, I'm spending my own coin. And to be honest, I think they even hit me up and wanted me to do a dedicated hair video. But like I was trying to tell them, like my dedicated hair videos don't be hidden like that. Like they really don't. I would much rather incorporate it in a vlog and give you a cheaper price. You get what I'm saying for that? But they were like, no, we only do uh, dedicated hair videos. And I was like, okay, well, cool. That's that's your problem. Um, I won't be doing a video. I'll just buy the weed. And so, um, but yeah, so, baby, these parking spots be ridiculous. Like, <sighs> let me go in here and get this dang on stuff. Baby, now they know they're wrong for these tight-ass spaces, I got duck and dodge. Like, look at that parking spot. Like, I love your purse. Oh, thank you. Morning. Good morning. And we back. We got our we got our creamy crack. All right, y'all. So, y'all already know the vibes. Come on now. Anyway, y'all already know the vibes. Matcha. If y'all don't have the Starbucks app, I don't know what the hell y'all doing, baby. Because one thing I can't do is wait in these long Starbucks lines. That stuff be ridiculous sometimes. I like doing the mobile uh, app because they already give me points for like just buying drinks and stuff like that. So um, a lot of the times I either get like two dollars three dollars off or something like that so that stuff be adding up child especially with me me and my kids we like starbucks me and cordell for sure love starbucks child we get starbucks i know i get starbucks just about every single day Baby, I don't know how y'all be doing it and sending y'all camera up there on that dashboard, honey, because my shit, like y'all just seen, it just slid all the way over, baby. It just slid all the way over. And I had a mini panic attack because if it falls, it could easily crack and break. So I don't know how y'all be doing it, driving. Like, that gives me so much anxiety because that lets me know I'm not paying attention to the road. I'm paying attention to my camera, which is nothing that you should be doing anyway. 
and then I, I mean I don't know I, I feel like you're just playing Russian roulette because if that camera falls in you're risking the chance of it being broken and having to buy a new one and these cameras ain't cheap and then not to mention you're risking paying attention more so to your camera than the road and you could have an accident so I don't know how y'all be doing it I applaud y'all for doing it but I know one thing about me mm-mm mm -mm. get somebody else to do it Excuse me, can you record me real quick? Mm -hmm. Can you record me real quick? Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. Oh, it's for mm -hmm. audition. Mm -hmm. get somebody. It's two people. I'ma just have to hold y'all, baby, because ain't no way. Ain't no way. I ain't finna I ain't finna wreck my dream car, child. Y'all got me messed up. Y'all must got a lot of money. Y'all got to. <laughs> y'all got to because every time I be trying to <clears throat> hold my uh camera up there. It never works for me. It never does. Or maybe we, I just live in an area where the roads are just bad and I gotta make a lot of turns. I don't know. But y'all be making it seem flawless as fuck. But me, oh no, this camera gonna slide. It's, it's, baby, it's gonna slip and slide like the 2000s, baby. Baby, one thing about this place, it's gonna be hell. Cute. Even these. I think I might get this. Let's see. Should I get a medium or a large? Um, I think I'm gonna get a medium. This jacket reminds me of my. Lululemon jacket. Y'all, so we are at this Christmas parade. My first time making it on time for these little bad hoodlums, child. But yeah. Look at it, look at my, look at my town, child. It looks so pretty. They got um, carousel rides. They got a whole bunch of rides and jumping stuff. They got everything.
November. Ooh, child. December the 4th. It is 12 in the afternoon, child. I've been up since like 8. Took the dog out. My lady is here. So, um, I just got up, got coffee, um, you know, washed my face, brushed my teeth. Chandler. Oh, thank you, baby. You so sweet. I thought that was Jason's because I wanted him to come outside. But he said he didn't have any pants to wear outside with me. Uh, it sounds like he just went outside. Well, hey, make for sure you don't bring those shoes in the house, okay? Your boots. I actually did. You, you, yeah, you got your boots on now. Okay. Chandler, close the door. But yeah, so I just tried to get up and be intentional and really just get myself out of that funk. I don't know about y'all, but I get that same type of ick or funk um, whenever I am, like around the time that my periods just start, my attitude gets bad, child. And like I was telling y'all earlier in this vlog, for some reason I stopped taking those uh, PMS vitamins because that's just me. Um, so I got back on those. So I took those. I took my ashwagandha. Um, and so now I'm just in here chilling, talking to y'all. Got to give y'all a recap. So I was a horrible vlogger yesterday, but like I said, my lady came in and baby, I was just like, mm. they really had fun at the parade. Um, they got to do a train ride, which you guys saw, and they got to go down the little jumpy slide like y'all saw. And then, um, we got popcorn, kettle corn, really hot cocoa. They got kettle corn and hot cocoa. Um, and then after that, my best friend called me and she was like, hey, you want to take the kids out to eat the Pizza Hut? So we took the kids out to eat the Pizza Hut, child. And I'm going to just tell y'all, baby, they were short-staffed. They were really short-staffed. And like the lady that was supposed to be helping us, baby, we literally probably was there for like all of 25 minutes and she never came. It was so bad to the people. To the point that the people right next to us was like, have y'all even, have y'all been seated? Like, have your waiter came by? And we're like, no, we haven't. And so, um, we saw another lady there. And so, you know, she was like, I'm so sorry. She was the one that was like cleaning tables and running the drive through But she was like, we pulled her over there and told her that nobody had came to our table to, you know, start our order and stuff like that. So she was like, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'll go ahead and take it. Um, so she took our order and, you know, of course, um, did tip her. We all did tip her, um, and just let her know that we were thankful, um, that she took our order and really just noticed us really. But yeah, so it was really nice. It was really fun yesterday. So I can't complain about that, but yeah, it is the next day. I'm in my PJs. Like y'all saw, I, I, I didn't wear them to the parade because it got really cold and I'm so glad I didn't because it, it got really cold. But yeah, so I got these PJs on, hair's thrown back in a little clip. I'm eating my breakfast, which is the usual waffles and bacon. Let's get into this segment of Confessions of an Ex-Nurse. Responding to a comment. I'm just getting out of work 
love a nude lip nurses we have those masks on all day our lips get like super dry and i have big huge full lips and i have to keep them moist i love a good nude lip <clears throat> but responding to my home girl karshi b86 who says what did they start y'all at as a new rn i'm only getting 27 first of all we're gonna clap it up for her becoming an RN. Congratulations. It's a huge accomplishment. It's very difficult. <clears throat> but I don't know what specialty you're in or where they starting you at $27 an hour, but that's bullshit. Let's be clear. Right now, nurses are in demand and hospitals will prey on new grads thinking that you don't know your worth. But the rules of the game are changing. We are in control, okay? You can tell these hospitals, new grads should be starting at 70 to 75,000. <clears> so there's no way you should be starting at 27. Um, so I really would like to know what specialty you're in. And no, you should at least be starting at between 33 and $35 the most. We're in demand. These hospitals need us. Because believe you me, you don't need them. You can go get a job anywhere, even as a new grad. Things are changing. They're going to have to bring back bonuses. There's a lot of things that are changing. The healthcare system is strained. Nurses are leaving the bedside. They do not have any nurses. So new grads, trust me, you guys have a big bargaining chip. Okay, because a lot of the seasoned nurses are leaving the bedside and going to do other stuff, leadership, research, etc. You know, started, you know, made a lot of money as travel nurses and are now running big time businesses. You guys are in control. So trust and believe. Don't let them come to you with 27 and you can get a job anywhere, new grad or not. So let's clap it up. Let me know what specialty you're in. And 27 is absolutely ridiculous. They need to be running more money. Okay, if y'all are OG of my channel, then y'all already know how I feel about this topic. But the topic is this. Nurse salary in East Texas. Texas period, but specifically East Texas. Okay, I have friends and family members who are in this area who are new grads or even a nurse for like one or two years. So let's really just break that down. And they are in all different realms and specialties and things like that. Um, even when I was working my contract, I would talk and network with some of the other nurses and they were comfortable enough to tell me their pay. Um, and I was comfortable enough to tell them my pay as well, even though they didn't like it. I mean, hey, you could do the same thing I'm doing. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. <laughs> you could do the same thing. So, okay. New nurses in this area start off making anywhere from 24 to 27. That is the realm that new nurses make. Like y'all just saw in the video, the lady straight up told y'all that this is what she's making and it's kind of um, frustrating to her. I'm not even gonna lie, baby. I'm a person that's a numbers person and I want to do the numbers with you. So, okay. 40 hours in a week, right? But technically, um, it's 36 for nurses because you work um, 36 hours or three 12-hour shifts, right? Okay. So if you're a base, let's, and, I, and my, I said my range was 24 to 27, right? Let's do on the high end because I really want to be gracious and I really want to put something into perspective for you guys. So 27 times 36 hours, right? That's for one week. Um, that comes out to $972, right? Times that by two because a lot of places really pay you every two weeks. So without taxes or any other thing taken out, that is what you are looking at. Okay, so that is your base pay. That's if you landed a day shift spot. Um, that's if you don't have any other shift differentials, period. That is base pay what you're going to make, right? That's with no overtime as well. 
that's just for the straight up three shifts a week for two week time period. Okay, so let's factor in insurance and taxes, right? So I'm gonna take about about five. You know what? I'll be nice. I'll do four hundred total for insurance and for taxes together. Let's do that. Minus four hundred. That comes out to be fifteen forty four. So a thousand five hundred and forty four dollars. I don't know about y'all, but that ain't enough. It's really not considering the type of state that we are in. And just last year, they just moved up this rate to 27. I know specifically for this area because I spoke with a co-worker that I was working with on my travel assignment. She said they did a pay adjustment based on the um, market. And so 27 is what they got, right? But if that's the new market adjustment and I'm only bringing home $1,500 every, every two weeks, this, okay, so let's break this back down. Divide that by two. That means I'm only making $772. That means I'm only making $772. That's not a lot of money. Like, and so whenever I made a video about this, years ago like i said if you are og to my channel baby you already know what i'm talking about but a lot of y'all add me up in the comments about this video that i made years ago but it's the truth like i didn't lie to y'all back then just for clickbait it's honestly the truth and i really want you guys to go in these type of situations and know the truth rather than be sold a dream on tiktok how they're making it seem on tiktok like baby if i become a nurse i can level up get me a g-wagon i can level up and buy all my louis and chanel's and baby stop D don't 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 feed all into those lies baby because honestly if you really want the money baby the money is in travel nursing but you do have to learn what you need to learn to actually level up and get to that level so that is one thing that i want y'all to know just starting out and and like i always try to tell y'all in these videos this is not to bash y'all or bash anybody that's thinking about nursing. I really just want to give you the real spiel when it comes to nursing. So starting out, your pay will not be great. Let's just keep it a buck. Starting out, your pay will be shit. It really will. But are there ways to level up and get past that point? Yes, it is. But it's a matter of are you willing to do that necessary work to get you to that top tier level um my next video i know for a fact i am going to talk about how um sorry y'all if y'all hear my kids in the background they in this backyard playing with the dog but i am in my next video going to try to touch on how to actually level up and how i did level up myself um so that way you guys can get a real honest opinion or a real live person telling you how she was able to maximize her income as well um so my next video i will you know incorporate that as well but i really just want you guys to understand that when you start out the pay will be shitty Will you have the opportunity to make better money? Yes, you will. Will you make more money whenever you um, have more experience and things like that? Yes, you will. So always be mindful and cognizant of that, okay? So that was my little spiel about um, nurse pay and things like that. I don't want you guys to go into certain situations blindsided by this um, because with the way that the world is really moving right now, that pay that they're paying right now, it's not going to cut it. I truly hope and wish they do another market adjustment, especially with the way things are just increasing, increasing, increasing. Like in Dallas, the average rent out there, I think they said it's like 1500 so I'm like, <clears throat> so if your rent average is averaging $1,500, that's your first two weeks paychecks. And so the next two weeks paycheck, if you get another $1,500, girl, you better, be, you better be treading lightly. You better be treading lightly. So that way you can afford the rest of your bills. And baby, let's not get on the topic if you went to this big four-year school. 
and got all of these loans, baby. Because I'm going to tell y'all, that right there to me is the absolute biggest scam. The fact that you can go to this big university, like, like for example, um, University of Texas school. You can go to a big University of Texas school like that or school of that stature, right? But to get this nursing degree, yes, you will get a bachelor's. But to get this nursing degree, you're going to spend... Sixty to seventy thousand dollars, or even, or you know what? Let me be nice. You're you're finna spend fifty thousand dollars to get this degree, right? But your loans will come out to be about three, four, five hundred dollars. Like it's just eating up the money that you bring home. Like it's it, it the math isn't mathing for me. You're making me pay fifty thousand dollars for a degree that. After taxes, I'm not even going to have enough to pay back my student loans. Like, it's, it's forcing me to have to pick up extra shifts. It's forcing me to take a night shift position because I know that it pays better. Like, you know, it's, it's just, it's forcing you to pick up more shifts or do things things necessarily that you wouldn't want to do um like as if taking a night shift. Um, But it's forcing you to do that just so that way you can make money just to be okay or to be comfortable because really in all honesty why are we going into nursing we're going into worse nursing because we do have a passion for it or we think we do um but also at the same time we're trying to make money child so my battery then went dead honey and i go to my battery charger because i have like the that one that's like a three like you can put three batteries in there and charge them all at once right um so i go over there and it's not even working anymore. So I'm really honestly down to w this one battery that I have right now. But it is only got like the battery on the camera. It shows like three notches. I'm on the second one. So I'm just like, okay, so the battery's never even charged. And now it's not even coming on anymore. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, like child. I, I really just, I don't even know how that even messed up. Like what? What's on the agenda today is just to reinforce some stuff, y'all, with my kids as far as in like learning and stuff like that. Because y'all know I'm big on education, y'all. Ooh, ooh, y'all. That was another thing that put me like just in a little funk is because, child, tell me why Chandler, we was on our way out to eat, right? Tell me why Chandler told me that he got his report card, right? And so I was like, oh, okay. And I forgot to look in his folder. And so I was like, well, I'll just look online, right? So I look online and then they were like, okay, Grace had been posted to his report card. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I look at his report card and child, it says 75. Oh, baby, baby, baby. One thing about me and one thing I have always been taught and I'm teaching him is that you're not going to bring me home no C's, baby. We, we don't do C's. And one thing about Chandler, he's at a accelerated school already. But I know he understands this information because I take the necessary time out, even after school is over, to print out these little uh, worksheets off of Pinterest and go over and reinforce these things. And then, like, on Tuesday, his teacher sends home... Um, his teacher sends home packets of like their homework they're, they've done for the week. So that way it gives me a clue of what I need to look for on Pinterest and what I need to print out to kind of help her. You get what I'm saying? So he'll be one less struggling student. I'll do these packets with him and he understands it. So I'm like, okay, well, how did you make this grade? And he was like, well, um, they weren't, they weren't letting me pay attention. They kept talking to me. So, you know, it like it boils down to Chandler was not paying attention, <laughs> in other words. And so um, a few of those little grades or whatever, she'll make him redo them. But the highest grade that he can get on a redo is a 70. So that really messed up his grade. Um, so, child, we had a whole talk about that because, baby... One thing I don't do, I don't do C's, bro. I don't do C's. And even in school, I never brought home a C. In kindergarten, all the way through uh, high school, all the way through college. I, You know what? Take that back. In history, because I really didn't apply myself in history. And it was like an um, online course history. I really didn't apply myself. And I think I got like... A C. I want to say maybe I got a C. I'm not for sure. Um, but I know that 
I typically like I know for a fact I didn't bring home seeds like that and so and I was in advanced classes too as well so I'm just kind of like no sir like one thing that I will do and one thing that I will always do with my children is that I am setting the tone you are not about to tell me that you didn't understand because I'm gonna take that necessary time to make sure you do understand I'm sorry y'all if y'all see me looking to the left because Cordell out there with the kids and the dog and um He's playing football in the yard and stuff, child. I, I, I ain't even gonna stunt y'all. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I'm really I I'm really happy and proud of my husband because he knows that whenever I'm on my period and stuff like that, child baby, I just don't be wanting to be bothered. I really don't. Like especially the first and second day is because I cramp it's heavy bleeding um, and I know this may be TMI y'all I'm so sorry but you know one thing that I want to incorporate on this channel baby we is not gonna be fake we're not gonna be prim and proper I'm gonna be myself and I'm gonna give y'all the real tea I'm not gonna shade anything baby if I look a mess baby that's because I woke up looking a mess like there are days where people have mess like I feel like now, and I'm sorry I'm going off on a tangent, but I really truly feel like now everybody is in that wave of like everything has to be perfect. Everything has to look perfect. And even me, at times I feel like I could, I shouldn't record because my house, the house that we're, you know, renting isn't perfect or it, it doesn't meet my standards or it's not up to par. You get what I'm saying? And like one of my subscribers, she did have to put it on my mind. Like, baby, like we'll watch you with whatever you do. So just record the content and we're going to watch you. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. You're really right. And I really truly feel like in a world full of that girl, it girl, I just want to be real. I just want to be that real girl. That real girl that can relate to real people. Um, and not saying that they aren't, but I'm just letting you know, like, <laughs> real shit happened. There's, there's real life, you know, laundry that needs to be washed. And if you see it, then, you know, hey, just know that I'm a real girl that has real life laundry that needs to be washed. Um, or if you see like my old Chick-fil-A cup, sorry, I'm a real girl that like, you get what I'm saying? Like those imperfections are what makes life real and authentic. So, and I want to give you guys that, so. Um, but yeah, don't, don't, don't try to compare me, baby, because like I said, I don't want to be that. I just want to be real. And I want to give you real representation of what it's like to be a nurse in the real world. And I want to give you a real representation of what my life is like post nursing. That's my little spiel girl. But like I said earlier, there is nothing planned for today other than just watch football, relax, upload these videos and things like that, and make for sure this content and stuff is good for y'all. Um, but other than that, if I got something important going on or something happened, I'll pick y'all back up. So.